Hey guys, I am the math professor Kyle Martin. In this video, we're going to take these two algebraic equations, solve them, and then say the reason for what we're doing as we do it. And what this is called is a proof, all right? In geometry, you're gonna do a lot of proof. It's one of the main concepts in this class. And to start you off nice and easy, before we get to our shapes, proving that like two triangles are the same or two line segments are equal, right? What we're going to do is just use these algebraic equations, okay? These are equations you'd see in Algebra 1. Uh, we're going to take and solve those. And then as we do it, we're going to say our reason along the way. So our first equation and our first reason um, are already given to us. In fact, it's the reason is called the given because they give it to us. Um, anytime you have a reason here, it's going to be a given for that first spot. All right, so what did they give us? They gave us two times the quantity x plus four minus eight equals negative 12. To solve this problem, what we need to do first is distribute this two in to the quantity x plus four. Two times x plus four is two x plus eight. And then I bring down the rest, minus eight equals negative 12. So what did I do there? I distributed. This is called the distributive property of equality, all right? So let's say distributive, and I'm gonna put P-O-E for property of equality. Distributive property of equality. Okay, then what do I have? I have two X plus eight minus eight equals 12. Well, this plus eight minus eight, that's gonna cancel because those are like terms, okay? Plus eight minus eight is zero. So this is now just two X equals negative 12. And we did that by combining our like terms. So I'm gonna say combining like terms. Okay, combining like terms. All right, what do I have next? Now, two X equals negative 12. I have to divide both sides by two to get X by itself. And now X equals negative six. All right, X equals negative six. I did that by dividing. So this is the division, the division property of equality or POE, property of equality. All right, and we finished this one. X is isolated, so we know we're done. You can circle if you want to, but we did it using these steps, given distributive property, combining like terms, and the division property of equality. All right, over here we have another equation. This is one third x plus six, all divided by four equals nine. Um, so again, our first reason is always given. Good, always given. So go ahead and write that down. And what did they give us? They gave us one third x plus six, all divided by four equals nine. Now this all divided by four part means that this top is kind of in parentheses. So if we undo this using our opposite order of operations, we have to multiply both sides by four to start with, okay? So when I multiply and divide by four, those are gonna cancel. And then over here, it's gonna be 36. So this is now one third X plus six equals 36. And we did that by multiplying on both sides. This is the multiplicative property um, of equality, or you could just say multiply. Multiply property of equality. If you wanna put POE, you can. Okay, what do we have next? We have one third plus X equals 36. We better get rid of this, uh, or plus X, plus six equals 36. Better get rid of six first by subtracting six on both sides. And now I have one third X equals 30. Okay, again, I did that because I subtracted six on both sides. So this is the subtraction, subtraction property of equality. Lastly, I have one third equals 30. Be a little bit careful here. It's tempting to say X is just 10, but that's not right, okay? A, 10, a third of 10 is not 30. A third of 90 is 30. And to get 90, you actually have to multiply uh, by three on both sides. Okay, there's a couple of options you could do here. You could actually divide both sides by one third. Uh, that's the same thing as multiplying by three. Remember when you multiply, or when you divide by a fraction, you flip and multiply. So I like to just multiply by three over one. That's gonna cancel both of these and give me X equals 30 times, uh, 30 times three is 90, okay? And again, I did that by multiplying. So let's say again, multiply property of equality. All right, uh, so there you have it. We solved our equation. We wrote out our reasons, and that is now called a proof. We proved this is true uh, by saying why we did what we did when we did it.